Hello everyone. Today I have my empties and half empties from the last uh, two weeks to share with you. Um, I am recording on my phone today, so we're gonna see how it goes. We'll find out together how this works out. Um, I have no idea like how the sound is or anything, so for all I know I could be like screaming at you guys right now. Hopefully not. Um, and also, it's like an awkward time of day to record. You can see all the shadows and <laughs> the lighting and everything. I don't know. Hopefully this works out okay. Um, also, I have no idea if my camera shuts off at a certain time. We'll see. Um, but all of my kids are home. They are done school for the summer, so... I'm in the back room recording and I don't know. I just have to figure it out. Um, I didn't record anything last week. I just, well, in the beginning of the week, I ended up um, with food poisoning, my husband and I. So we were incredibly sick for, you know, a full day. And then the next day we were still out of it. Um, and then, obviously, things that were happening um, in our country, I just, I couldn't bring myself to record anything, it just, I don't know. Um, but I've, you know, I've mentioned so many times here that doing these videos and talking with you guys is, you know, really good for me and I enjoy it. And it's just a light area in my life so I am here today to talk to you guys um, I again even though this is two weeks of empties I feel like it's the normal amount that I would have for one week uh, my basket was full and typically that's where it is for one week of melting so obviously I wasn't melting at my normal rate, but I still have a lot here. So let me just get into it. Um, I'll start with the half empties. Like I said, I'm going to have to figure this out, so bear with me. Um, but hopefully this will end up being a little bit easier than using my camera. Um, so the first thing here is the Hamptons from Teddy B's. I really enjoyed this. I melted this in my kitchen. I had one piece of my tea light warmer and then one piece in each of my bulb warmers in the kitchen and it was really, really nice. I would definitely um, order this again for next summer. I, I won't order it like if she offers it. Um, she just had a pre-order. So if she offered it in her next pre-order, I wouldn't get it. But if she offered it in like her pre-order at the beginning of next year I would order it so I could have some for summer sorry if that didn't make sense um yeah it's really really nice it's I didn't even tell you the notes it's watermelon lemonade salty sierra and crisp linen so the watermelon lemonade in here is very um like mouth watering and then I just love it mixed with that fresh salty sierra and that like crisp clean linen note really like this. Um, it performed well, like an 8 out of 10 in my kitchen. So yeah, I would repurchase that. I see what the hype is about with that scent. I have one here from Kay. This is Snowed In. It's a custom that I did um, that I was trying to mimic um, Ski Weekend from Britta's. So this is sweater weather, flannel sheets, and icy peppermint. I absolutely love this. I think I do also have Ski Weekend in here. So I'll talk about that as well, but oh my gosh, this is so good. So Carla has um, the Bath & Body Works candle type sweater weather. And then Britta has the other one that to me smells like the body care sweater weather. Um, and I love them both, so I will continue to purchase both of these, but I just, this one is like so good. <laughs> I just love that sweater weather. Sweater weather is one of my favorite scents ever, and this was so strong and lasted 
for so long in the warmers. Um, I think I did this the day after we had food poisoning and I was kind of just wanting like minty scents. Ugh, so good. I love this one. Definitely will repurchase. I guess I'm just going to lay them down. Um, and then I guess I'll just talk about... I really hope you guys can hear me. I have no idea how this mic is. Um, I'll talk about Ski Weekend from Britta's next. So, and I hope it's like focusing. I don't know. Anyway, Ski Weekend is sweater weather, icy peppermint, and flannel sheets. Um, same exact notes. It's just the sweater weather is different. But like I said, I love them both, and I will also repurchase this one. It's super strong, and it lasts a long time. I love that, and I'm already, like, almost done with this bag, so I definitely need more of that. That is more of a, um, like, fall-winter scent for me, but I like minty all year round, so I don't know. I should probably grab a loaf of that next time I get it. I have one here from the pharmacist's daughter in Boardwalk. This is beach type amber noir. I can't read it. Labdanum and cashmere. I love this. I need more of this. It's so good. It's that Bobbi Brown beach type that I absolutely love. Ugh, but just the amber noir it gives it like this like darker, almost earthy kind of note. Ugh. And then the labdanum and cashmere, I don't even know. It's just like, it does really give it this like richness. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but like almost a luxury kind of feel. I really like this. Definitely need more. I would probably grab this in a loaf, I want to say, but I don't know. It's really good. Good performer. Smells amazing. I feel like the lighting is just terrible. Um, let's see if I can get it a little bit brighter without like blinding you from the glare. Okay. I have a few Rose Girls. I think these are all um, from my last order and I just couldn't wait to melt them. So the first one is Crawler Hunting. This is dirt, rain, and concrete. I am obsessed with this one. I will definitely order this again. Um, you get the dirt and the rain, so it's very like kind of earthy, almost atmospheric. But that concrete note, I didn't pick this up on cold, but when I melted it, that came across as like um, a cologne. And I know there is a concrete cologne, so I'm wondering if that's what this note is. Um, it might not be, but I definitely got this cologne while it was melting, but also the rain and the dirt. This is so nice. Ugh, yeah, I love this one. It's just so, like, earthy and fresh at the same time and, like, clean and just, even though it, it's dirt, it smells really clean to me. Um, I love it. I will repurchase. It was a good performer, probably like a seven out of 10, but it might get stronger as it sits longer. We'll see. Um, another one that I love is Secret Garden. This is vine, tomato, leaves, soil, teakwood, and cedar. So good. Ugh. So on cold, I feel like I first am hit with that vine tomato or tomato vine, whatever. Um, but it's just so earthy and I definitely get that cedar and you get that soil note. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> it's all blended really well together. Oh my, I love this one. I did it in the tea light and I think in the bulb warmers in my kitchen. It performed pretty well, again, like a seven out of 10 and just I love the scent. I love, love, love the scent for spring and summer. So good. I mean, I could carry that into fall also. I don't know how much I would want to melt that in the winter time, but really nice, like earthy, fresh. Ugh, I love it. And the teakwood in there, um, don't let that like scare you if you don't like, like mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works. I don't get that at all. It's just like 
a, a wood kind of note. Um, it's really nice. And then the other one I tried from Rose Girls is Pond Scum. It's salty sea air, green foliage, um, coriander, cedar, oak moss, jasmine, and bergamot. Um, I like this. I don't love it. I definitely loved Crawler Hunting and Secret Garden more. I, yeah, I like it. I don't love it. And it, it was pretty light. It was like a 5 out of 10. Again, it might need to sit longer. It's really pretty and fresh, um, but it just, I don't know. It wasn't like a standout to me on warm, but we'll see. I'll have to melt more of it. I might try it like in my bedroom because it does seem like um, a good, like relaxing kind of light scent. So maybe in my bedroom, I would like it more. I have one from the bathing garden here. This is painting the roses red again with the light. I'm sorry for the shadows and everything. Um, this I did here in the back room. I forget what's in this. It's definitely rose. But there's, also, there's like a sweetness to it. It's really pretty. I really like the Bathing Gardens rose scents. So I did like this. I'll have to melt through the rest of it to see if it's one I would pick up again. I didn't pick it up in the um, Alice in Wonderland release. So I don't know if that's one I would pick up again or not. But it performed well here in my back room. I have um, two little two small scoopables from L3. This one is Hawaiian cocoa butter. So this one I actually have going still right now. I put it in last night. Um, we weren't home, like we weren't going to be home all day yesterday on Memorial Day. So I didn't change out the wax in the morning like I would normally. Um, and then when we were leaving my mother-in-law's house, my husband was like, my friend's going to come over with his girlfriend and his kids. And I was like, the first thing I thought was I didn't change out the wax today. So I was like rushing around <laughs> changing out the wax when we got home. But I just put this through all the warmers in the living room, dining room, and kitchen. And it's really nice. It's that like, did I even say what it is? Hawaiian cocoa butter. It's that like sunscreen, like tanning lotion kind of scent. But it has this like really nice sweetness that comes through while it's melting. Mm, yeah, I really liked it, um, and I can still smell it now, so it's a good performer. It's strong. It lasts for a while. Um, I would probably pick this up again, and I would pick it up in blends also if I saw them offered. I really, I really like that. I love, like, sunscreen, tanning oil, tanning lotion kind of scents for summer. They just are so good to me. Um, and then the other little scoop I have here from L3 is Oceanfront Sweet. This is clean cotton, black sea, watermelon, lemonade, and sorry, watermelon lemonade and a hint of salty sea air. So this is fairly similar to the Hamptons from Teddy B's. Um, and I feel like I might have even liked this one a little bit more because clean cotton is my favorite laundry oil. I love black sea. And again, the watermelon lemonade in here was so like juicy and mouth-watering. Yeah, I really like this. I can't remember if this was, this was somebody's like custom blend, but I can't remember whose it was. Ugh, yeah, I like this. I would get this again for sure. I'm going to be sad when I finish this up, but hopefully it's offered again soon. Um, I know I can always request it. I just hate requesting things. <laughs> Um, okay, and then the last of the half empties that I have are from Scentsy, um, and I actually blended these in, like, through the upstairs. Um, so the first one, and this clam is gross, but this is Circle of Life from the Lion King collection. I really, really like this one. It's, like, earthy, um, like, kind of, like, sandalwood, incense-y. Uh, maybe some like Palo Santo. I don't remember exactly what the notes are. Ew, this clam is like so gross. 
Um, there might be like amber or something in here, but it's just a really nice earthy, incense-y kind of Palo Santo vibe and I really like it. It's a good performer. And I blended it upstairs with lavender cotton. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but it was a really nice blend. I love lavender cotton. It's just so good. Um, oh my gosh, it's like one of the best like lavender laundry scents that I've ever smelled. And it's so strong. Sorry, John's back there scratching his uh, scratch post. But yeah, together, these were really nice. I enjoyed it. I would repurchase both of them. Um, I don't know. I think Circle of Life is available right now. But I don't know how long it'll be available. I really cannot put anything else in my club. I need to remove things from my club. So I don't know. I don't know when I'll get that one again. But I do really like it. Okay, on to the empties. I feel like I'm out of breath today. I don't know why. Um, so sorry if that's annoying, but I'll start with my Scentsy empties since that's where we left off. I have pink lemon water, I think. I wanna say I just emptied this like through the hole downstairs one day. Yeah, I did. Um, so on cold, I like this a lot. On warm, no. Oh, and I wanted to look at the notes because there's something in here. Yeah, like I said, on cold, I really like this. But on warm, something in here just like got right in my throat and was like nauseating me. Um, so yeah, I don't think this is one that I will need more of. I think I do have a few more bars, but... I don't know, I was super disappointed on warm just because there's something in it that doesn't agree with me. It's definitely not like a, sorry, definitely not like a bad scent, but just something that didn't agree with me personally. So I, I don't need any more of that. Um, I also melted some pink cotton. This is a really good one. I don't even remember where I melted this, but it's a really nice scent. I think, um, I, I think again I just put this through like the whole downstairs one day it's really nice it's like berries and laundry yeah this is it kind of smells like wet laundry to me um, this is a repurchase I will get this again I think I might have a couple more bars but really really good scent um, good performer just I feel like this is a fan favorite also I don't know. I feel like a lot of people love that one for good reason. Um, I feel, I don't know. Like I said, it's going to take some getting used to with <laughs> doing this on my phone. Um, okay. Then I finished a clam of Southern sweet tea. This was really nice. Actually, I did it here in the back room. I'm not sure what exactly is in this, but I got like a peach tea. Yeah, like a peach sweet tea. Um, it was actually really nice. I would maybe get this again if it ever came back or like bring back my bar or anything, like grab another clam of it because I did enjoy it. Um, yeah, I don't know, it was nice. Um, again, I have two here that I mixed together um, through the living room, dining room entryway. I did black forest pine with vanilla blackberry. These are two of my favorites and it was really nice together. Vanilla blackberry, I know this is like a love hate um, kind of scent. I just love it. I love it so much. It's like I get like blackberry, vanilla, and like a cedar note. Uh, it's so good. I don't know. It's so good to me. It's like an earthy blackberry with vanilla and a cedar note. That's the best I can describe how it smells to me. Um, this, I think this is in my club. I do have several bars of it though. I need to decide if it needs to stay there. Um, 
we'll see, but I love it. It's a good performer. It smells great to me. <laughs> um, and I blended it, like I said, with black forest pine and they were really, really nice together. Black forest pine is kind of hard for me to explain, but it's like addictive to my nose. Ugh, it's definitely pine, but every time I smell it, just like Siberian fur comes to mind. But there's also kind of a creaminess to this one. Ugh, it's so good. I love this one. I, again, this is in my club. I do have several bars of it, so I need to, I think I have several bars. I should check before I decide anything, but I love that. I also have it in a room spray in my car and I wish I had more room sprays. I'm hoping it comes back, fingers crossed, but I haven't seen too many people talk about it. So I don't know if it's like a love of very many. <laughs> um, okay, I melted the rest of this Slytherin clam in my bedroom. Actually, I think I put it through the hole upstairs. Um, I really like the scent. I'm kind of torn as to whether I'm going to leave it in my club or not. Oh, I can barely smell it anymore, but I feel like this is also like a tree scent and like a blackberry or something like that. It's really nice. I really like it. Um, I'm just deciding if I need it. I don't know. Um, I also feel like it will come back at some point because it's the Harry Potter collection. Like, I feel like that has to come back at some point. We'll see. Um, the next one is cucumber and cactus water. So I put this whole clam through the upstairs. There's like wax on my thumb. Um, I put this whole clam through the upstairs. It was really nice. It was a good performer. Um, it lasted for a few days and it was strong. It's really, it's, it's watery and clean and crisp, but it's a little perfumey. Like there's something like kind of pretty in here. I will probably stick this in my club um, because my husband said this is like one of his favorites that he's ever smelled from any vendor or Scentsy. So I'll probably stick it in my club or maybe just grab a few bars. I don't know. It is a really good performer. I do really like it. Mm, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't need to decide right now, but I need to decide soon because my June club ships like mid June, I think. Um, Okay, and then the last one from Scentsy, I melted this whole clam of red, white, and berry pie. Where did I melt this? I think in the back room in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I really like this. This, okay, we lost, we lost the clam. This, oh, I have the notes right here. So the notes for this are... Well, the, the little thing that they give us is a sweet slice of ripened cherry and red raspberry baked with vanilla. But all of the notes are clementine, sugar apple, peach preserves, ripened cherry, red raspberry, wild cranberry, buttered pastry, vanilla bean, and coconut sugar. And this is really nice. Um, so I mostly get the cherry, like of all those um, fruits that are in here, I mostly get the cherry, but I do get a little bit of apple and it kind of smells like an apple juice to me. But I definitely get that like vanilla pastry note and even more so on warm that came out. It was like a creamy vanilla pastry with like cherry and a little bit of apple and maybe a little bit of peach, but mostly that cherry and that like buttery vanilla pastry. This was really nice. I do have a few bars of it. I just, I cannot put any more in my club, but this was really nice and it was a good performer. Um, 
I don't know, maybe I'll melt some more and then decide, but it's like, it's kind of mouth-watering. <laughs> um, okay, I have some clams here from K, so I guess I'll do those next. I finished this clam of Aloha Beaches, Salty Sierra Beach, and Clothes Pins. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I really like this one. I would definitely get more of this. I mentioned before that I love beach, the Bobby Brown beach type. Um, I really like clothespins and I like Salty Sierra, so this was really nice together. It was just a super fresh. Uh, yeah, it just smells like being at the beach. And you have like your sunscreen on, you have your clean like bathing suit and your clean towels. Uh, and the sea air is just hitting you in the face. I, yeah, I really like this one. It was a good performer. Um, I can usually get like one day out of K's scents, um, which is really all I want because I like to change my wax out daily, but I don't know, like one day is, is good for me. Like if I put it in in the afternoon and I can still smell it when I go to bed, that's good for me. Um, and that's what I got from that. So I enjoyed it, would get more. The next one is Mystic Waters. These were both from the, like, was it the spring sampler? I forget what it was called, but it was the sampler she put out a few months ago. Um, so Mystic Waters is Emerald Agave, Cactus Blossom, and Melon. Loved this one also. I love Emerald Agave. And I got a lot of that here. I will say this time, well not this time, after it sat for a while, um, more of that like extra melon note came out, but I really liked it. I, I don't know. Emerald agave to me just has this like dampness to it, like a humidity. I, I don't know. I love it. Um, I think I would pick this up again. Like I don't necessarily need this blend again, but I do love emerald agave so I would probably grab this again if she ended up putting it on the site and it was available I did really like it oh my I just threw the other one okay <laughs> um I emptied this clam of black violet and saffron loved this I would definitely get this again yeah I don't know I like Violet, um, I'm not like the biggest floral fan, but Violet is just a little different to me. It's kind of earthy. And this one, especially, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep bumping this tripod. Um, I don't know exactly what black violet is, but this to me was like a very earthy violet. It was still pretty and floral, um, like a little powdery like violet can be. But it was just very like earthy. It was it was a deeper, darker violet, if that makes sense. Um, I really like this. I would definitely repurchase this. I would do some like custom blends with that. I enjoyed it. Um, a couple here from the bathing garden. This is lemon tea party. So I want to say this is like I want to say this is like black tea and lemon. And there might be some, there might be, I don't know, there might be some kind of like pastry or something in here. But mostly it's like black tea and lemon to me. Like the tea is a little floral, but not too much. And then the lemon is like very um, tart, like realistic lemon. I really enjoyed this. I, I think this was in the Alice in Wonderland collection. Um, and I didn't repurchase it, but I would in the future because it was a good performer. It lasted all day, it was strong, and it smelled really nice, so I liked it. Um, and then Blackberry Balsam, I finished this up in the kitchen. I had this melting while I had Vanilla Blackberry and Black Forest Pine going in the living room. Um, and this was really nice. I enjoyed this more this time around 
So maybe this is more of like a spring summer kind of tree scent for me um, because the last time I melted it was in the winter. This is blackberries, balsam, and sugar. So um, yeah, just like a sweet blackberry. It almost, it was like almost a chapsticky blackberry, which I didn't love, but I don't know. I really liked the sweetness like the, that sweet blackberry with that balsam. I Every time I walked in the kitchen, I was like, oh, it smells good in here, what am I melting? And then I remembered, and then I would be in there for a little bit, and I'd be like, oh, but also that chapstick note. <laughs> um, I would probably grab a clam of this, though. I wouldn't need like any more than that, but like next um, winter when she offers it again, I would, I would probably grab another clam of it. Um, I have two clams here from Super Tarts. The first one is Corpse Bride. This is rose milk and cashmere. So the first time I melted this, I didn't love it. I got this like um, kind of boozy like alcohol note. This time I absolutely loved it. I put it through the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs. It was so nice. So I'm just, I'm assuming it just needed to sit a little bit longer or maybe my nose just changed, but this is really nice. It, I don't know. It kind of doesn't smell like other rose milk scents that I've tried. It's really pretty though. And the cashmere doesn't bother me. Some cashmere scents can really bother me. This one didn't. It's just really pretty and a little sweet and creamy. I, I really like this. I would definitely get this again. Um, I don't know if I would need a whole bam of it, maybe a clam or two when it's offered, but yeah, I really, really like that this time, which is weird. <laughs> um, and then I finished up this clam of Palo Santo Middle Earth. This is Palo Santo, Dirt, Rosemary, and Mint Leaf. I love Middle Earth. Um, it's not, like I know some people go crazy for it. I do love it, but I definitely have to be in a certain mood for it. Um, I don't know. I I don't know what it is. Like that the Hunter Crawling from Rose Girls, that that is like the perfect dirt scent for me. Um and this one I do really like, but like I said, I just have to be in the mood for it. So I don't need like a bam of it. But I would get like a clam. Ooh, there's a bug back there. Oh my god, it's a huge spider. <laughs> Sorry. Right behind that plant right there. Oh, do you see it? <laughs> uh, it's a huge fuzzy black spider. I don't kill spiders. If I can, I'll like get them and put them outside, but I don't, I don't kill any bugs. Um, he saw me though, so hopefully he'll just stay over there. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, but I think I liked Middle Earth. Oh, do you see him? Right there. You see him. Oh my gosh, he's huge. It's black and orange. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, I love spiders, but I'm not gonna lie, they do like give me the heebie jeebies when they're like near me. Please, please go. Please go, Hunter. <laughs> I don't think you can see him now. He's behind um, that like pink pot, but. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, I think I like Middle Earth with Palo Santo better than just Middle Earth on its own. Um, I would grab like a clam or two of this. I wouldn't need a whole bam of it, but it's a really, really good performer. Super strong and it lasts for a very long time. Um, I'm gonna be like really distracted by this spider now. He sees me, but like he is um, not scared of me. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Just please, you can go to the other end of the table. Oh my gosh, where did he come from? Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I melted this scent shot in hippie tea from Yummer's Delight. I don't know where he went, he's freaking me out. I really like this. Okay, he's over by the humidifier. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Okay. 
hippie tea. Um, guys, I keep forgetting to write down the notes for these. This was really nice though. It was definitely like a tea scent, but I think like a fruity tea, but then there's also earthy notes in here. Ugh, really nice. I would definitely repurchase this one. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was like a six out of 10 for performance. I would say I could definitely smell it when I walked into the kitchen, but it wasn't like blowing me out of the room. Um, so yeah, like a medium, I guess like a medium performer, but really, really nice scent. Like I said, I would repurchase that. Okay, and then the rest is bags. So I have here from Super Tarts. This was a bougie bar in Deadpool. It says smells like a sweaty superhero should. Vanilla patchouli and Abercrombie Fierce type. I love Fierce. It's like my favorite cologne in wax. Um, it just is kind of, I don't know. It's like a warm kind of comforting cologne to me rather than like a sharp, like citrusy or, um, I don't know. It doesn't have like an ax body spray kind of feel. It's just a really like nice, deep, warm, comforting kind of cologne. And then I love vanilla patchouli, the earthiness from that. This is really nice. I would definitely get this again. It performed well throughout um, the living room, dining room, entryway. Really enjoyed it. Would get more of it. And then I melted this sample of She's My Cherry Pie. I actually melted this at the same time. Um, so I was thinking this was a cherry pie scent. I don't know. I just saw it in my like sample bin and grabbed it because I was melting that red, white, and berry pie from Scentsy. So I put this in my tea, tea light warmer in the kitchen and then I quickly realized that it is not a <laughs> cherry pie scent. So I moved my tea light warmer out into the living room. So I had this melting out there while Deadpool was going and then I had that red, white, and berry pie in the kitchen. And all together, they were really nice. Like they blended in the air and it smelled so good. So this is like the lost cherry type with I think this might even have some vanilla patchouli in it and then like a little bit of leather I really liked this I would get more of this yeah I don't know I wouldn't have expected to like this and that's why I love samples because I never would have ordered this on my own but now having tried it I will definitely get more of it it's just a really nice um, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it's cologne, but it has um, that earthy patchouli and then a little bit of leather. It, I don't know. It was really nice. I enjoyed it. I also really liked it blended with like the cherry coming from that Scentsy scent. I don't know. It was nice. Um, okay, I have a few here from the pharmacist's daughter. I have Peaceful Rain. This is chamomile ozone rain woodland fern and light florals i really like this it was like a very peaceful rain kind of scent i love chamomile yeah i would get more of this i think i would um want to melt this in the bedrooms next time i did it in the living room dining room um and entryway but i i think i would get more of this to melt in my bedroom it was really really pretty just like a really light relaxing kind of scent peaceful rain is the perfect name for that i finished up this souffle of mia moore this is fresh fresh linen pink chiffon and vanilla bean noel this is really nice i really like this one yeah i would definitely get more of this it has that like clean linen note in here but then you get that like pretty body care like pink chiffon I don't know it's really pretty it's fresh it smells clean I liked it it's a good performer I would get more of that I finished up the tropics this is orange blossom calypso sun and cocoa butter cashmere this is a really nice scent it's really uh, it's like a deep summer like it's not like light and airy or like light and fruity and fresh it's just like it reminds me of a summer night oh, it's so nice and I I forget what else I had going 
while this was going, but I put this in the back room and it was like overtaking what I had in the kitchen. It was very strong, really nice. I would get more of this. Sorry, I can't really explain it better, but to me, it just reminded me of being at the beach at nighttime. Um, yeah, I don't know, really, really nice. I finished this souffle of icicles. It's eucalyptus and thyme, rosemary mint, and flannel sheets. So this kind of, I, I melted this at the same time that I had um, my snowed in custom from K and ski weekend from Brita's going because this is kind of along the same lines. It definitely reminds me of those scents. I mean, it has flannel sheets, obviously, but then it has that mint and just, it's really nice. It definitely reminds me of those scents. Um, so this is another one that I would repurchase. It performed well. Um, I would probably just get like a souffle again. It's nothing I need like a loaf of, but yeah, it was good. Um, I have one here from Hayden Rowe in Beach Bum. So this is her Bobbi Brown <laughs> Beach type. I've mentioned so many times now that I love that scent so much. Uh, it just, it smells like summer. I'm just obsessed with Bobbi Brown Beach. It's one of my favorite scents ever, so. Love it, that performed well. I don't know if I need to get it from Hayden Rowe again, but it's a scent that I'll always repurchase from like every vendor. I have one little sample here from Destination Wax in Take a Letter Maria. This is Sweet Tart, Passion Fruit, and Fragrant Tea Roses. I really like this. I, I really like this. I think I put this in the tea light warmer while I had that, what is it, pink lemon water from Scentsy going. And on cold, <laughs> when I smelled this, it smelled like cat pee. I was like, no, I can't do it. I think it was the passion fruit but I didn't really pick that up on warm. Yeah, like right now I just smell cat pee. But on warm, I got the tea roses, but this one also had that like dryness to it that I really like in scents, and I don't know where that was coming from. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I would get, I would get a breakaway bar of it first and then make sure that I love it as much as I think I do but I would maybe get a loaf of this one um yeah I just I kept like going back to where the tea light warmer was so I could just get a big whiff of it because it smelled so good and it performed really well um in the tea light warmer so I have two here from Teddy B's the first one is rainy day and I can't read it. Um, crisp apples, dewy air, fallen leaves, oak, a touch of lavender, and a hint of sandalwood. So I put this in on a rainy day. We had some like thunderstorms the other day. I really like this. I put it in the kitchen. I think I really liked it in there because um, to me, it kind of smells like a cleaning product. I don't know what it is. Um, but it definitely has like a cleaning product vibe to me. But I really liked it. I, I feel like this for me is a good like cleaning on a rainy day kind of scent. I feel like I would repurchase this in like a souffle again. Um, I don't know that I need a whole loaf of it. I don't know. I did really like it and it performed really well. I'd probably get a souffle of it again. Perfect rainy day cleaning scent, really, for me. Um, and then I think on the same day, I melted the perfect storm and finished up the souffle. I put this through the living room, dining room entryway. Um, is that better? This is sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. This is really nice. I think last time I melted it, I was like, I don't know that I need to get it again. Um, it reminds me of scents that I've had from other vendors. But I don't know. The more I smell it, the more I'm like, I do really like it. <laughs> it does remind me of Black Sea a little bit. I don't know. I'd probably pick it up in a souffle again. Just to try it again. Um... 
yeah it does smell really good and it performed well so it's a good scent I just don't know if I love it and I feel like I should I don't know um okay I have a few bags here from Rose Girls and the first one the first two are these like little Ziploc bags because my mom got these scents and she just gave me a little mini melter piece to try in my tea light warmer so the first one is Lily of the Valley with rain and I loved this so much yeah I can't really smell it anymore but I loved this it was floral but Lily of the Valley to me is like a very I don't want to say aquatic but I kind of do um, it's like a really watery floral to me and then with the rain it was just really pretty and watery um, I don't know I really liked it it was super strong in the tea light warmer and I would purchase this one really like that and then she also let me try this pink clothes on the line so I think this is pink sands and clothes clothes on the line I think that's what it was and I liked this one too I don't know if I need to pick up you know I don't know if I need to purchase it but I did really like like it in the tea light warmer and I am happy that I got to try it um I don't know who knows I would maybe pick up some of it that one did okay in the tea light warmer it was lighter than the lily of the valley with rain but I liked it I also finished this bag of midnight rain I really like this one too it's really nice I think I did this in the bedrooms um this is another one though that kind of has like a cleaning product feel to it I forget what all is in this. I want to say like lavender, maybe bergamot. I don't remember what all is in this, but I do really like it. And I think I would pick this up again. Um, it's a good performer and it smells great. I like her rain scents. So yeah, I like that one. Blackberry rain. I like this one too. I would repurchase this one. Um, I often compare it to Jessica Jones. Well, it's now black rain from super tarts. Um, they're different but I like them both so black rain I love this one I really like so I will continue to order both of them because they're different and they both smell great um, I finished up moon Mario in I don't know I want to say I did this in the bathrooms and I think moon Mario is is it like pink sugar Zen American cream something like that um, oops sorry I do really like this one I don't know if it's one that I need to repurchase but it did smell really nice um, in the bathrooms and it performed well but yeah I don't know if that's one that I need to repurchase um, and then I finished this bag of dr. Mario and this is one of those like sinus clearing blends and I like it again I don't know if I need to repurchase it it performed well but I feel like I have you know other um, like sinus blends that I like more or like readily like more readily available um, so yeah I don't think I would need to repurchase this but I did really like it okay and last but not least these were some of my favorites from the last two weeks um, I just have two little bags here from Sassy Girl Aroma. This one is matcha green tea lattes and oh my gosh, <laughs> I loved this. I put this through the kitchen and the back room here and this is herbal green tea leaves balanced by creamy oat milk and matcha powder. I don't know if this is one oil or if she blends this I don't know but it's so good and I haven't had anything like this um, from any other vendor I don't know if I've just been like overlooking it I don't know if this is a dupe for something I have no idea but it smelled amazing in the warmers it was definitely creamy green tea but it wasn't like overly green I don't know it really smelled like a frothy matcha latte I'm obsessed with this I would get this in large quantities 
This is one that I would like go out of my comfort zone and request. If you see that she has a request up for her next pre-order, please let me know like a, a request post on her Facebook group because I will request this one. I at least need like a brittle bar of this. I loved it. It was so strong. It was just unique to me. If you know of any other vendor that has a scent like this, if you've seen this scent before, please let me know. It's so good. I would maybe even want like a perfume of this. Ugh, I just, I loved that. And then the last one here is the cashmere chai. And again, green tea leaves, milk, rose petals, anise, cardamom, crushed almond, and pistachio. Obsessed with this one. Um, I don't think I talked about this before. I didn't talk about this in another empties video, did I? I don't think so. This is so good. It's so unique. This is, I think, a dupe of something. So, or maybe not. I think I looked it up and I think I just found that this is one um, scent oil. I don't know that it's a dupe for anything, but I think it is just one scent oil. It is so interesting. It's so unique. It's so complex and it's so good. <laughs> I put this through the living room and dining room and I absolutely loved it. I don't even know that I can explain it. It's just so good. Um, it's not like any one thing sticks out more than the other. It's definitely not like heavy on the rose. So if you're worried about that, I wouldn't be. Um, and it's definitely not cherry at all from the almond or the pistachio. It's those don't give it any kind of cherry note. It's just so good. This one, I feel like you just have to try this one because I almost feel like it doesn't even fit into like a scent category. Like I wouldn't say it's floral. I wouldn't say it's earthy or fresh or bakery or like anything. It's like a mixture of everything. Um, my husband on cold I don't think he commented on it on warm but on cold he said this one smelled like soap and I can kind of see that um if it's like an herbal soap like a homemade like herbal essential oil kind of soap it doesn't smell soapy like an ivory or a zest or anything like that um I don't know it's so nice I love it I need more. This is another one that I would request. In brittles, is that what they're called? I think they're called brittles. Um, yeah, or maybe even a loaf. I don't know. It's so good. This is another one that I would want a perfume of also. I, I'm getting nervous because I can definitely see an obsession starting <laughs> um, with Sassy Girl perfumes. I don't know. Anyway, that's everything that I have for this empties video. Like I said, it's two weeks, but it looks like one week um, just because of everything that's been going on. I just, I've been kind of out of it. I was definitely in a pretty deep funk last week. Um, but yeah, hopefully get back in the swing of things this week. Um, let me know what you guys have been melting and loving or melting and not loving. Um, ha have you tried anything here and what do you think of them? I always love talking with you guys in the comments, so I look forward to that. Um, anyway, I think I have just one more video to record. I have a bathing garden haul. It's a small order. Um... And I think L3 is coming today, another, another small order, so I'll probably get that recorded tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully this whole thing with um, using my phone to record works out because I am kind of liking it <laughs> so far, but we'll see once I like get the video, like watch it back, and it's probably a hot mess. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this setup. If you're liking me using my phone if this goes well hopefully soon I can start to do like forward-facing videos so you guys can actually see my face and maybe it'll feel a little more personal for you guys um, but we'll see anyway 
I hope you're all doing well. I've been missing talking to you guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.